to the IT Assistant repository. So you can see here I've got some patches for 1850, 1855 blades and a 2850 server. I'm going to select this system bundle and now we'll go run a compliance report against the devices in my environment. So again I'm going to select using the same querying language all of the servers in my executive briefing center data center and by clicking on compare I'll go down and I can see that I've got three 1850s that could leverage this package. Two of them appear to be healthy. They've got the green check marks. But this bottom one, EBCOM 1850, when we scroll down, you can see under device version, BIOS is AO2. The repository had a version AO5. So if I wanted to update just this individual one, or I could go and add multiple devices, I check the boxes of the devices that I want to upgrade, click on the update process, and again we take you through a wizard which walks you through all of the required steps so you don't miss anything uh, to do a patch for this particular quarter. So we'll update 1850s for Q3 of 06. Click on next. A nice capability again let's say you uh, you apply patches and you want to back rev them you can go backwards uh, by checking the, the force downgrade this will take it back to uh, whichever version you would like for it to go to and then uh, in a BIOS environment you obviously have to go through the reboot process. For Linux servers we create a, 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 a trust key and a SSH port to be able to communicate over. By clicking next you can either schedule these to run say Saturday at midnight or run them immediately. In this instance I'll go ahead and provide my credentials. Again, you've got to be an administrator to, to do this. Click on next and click on finish. And you can see here now by selecting this, here's a job at 0% complete. Uh, it is in progress and you can actually watch the progress of this occur uh, over time. Here's an example of a 1850 I did earlier today. Uh, and you can kind of see the details associated with it where I've gone through, applied this AO2 package, uh, and it was applied successfully. So nice capability. The other thing you can do is you can also now create custom bundles for customers interested in putting a specific BIOS RAID controller for a, a custom application that they wrote or something to that effect you can create your own package now and you can do that by right clicking here and saying new task and it'll walk you through the process of uh, of adding the individual components for that environment performance monitoring another nice new capability that we've added into IT assistant is performance monitoring. So performance monitoring is really going out and talking to WMI at the OS layer and pulling back information so that you can create nice graphs on the details associated with it. I've created a, a couple of different capabilities here. Nothing too difficult about creating performance reports and we don't have any limitations as far as that's concerned other than the fact that it needs today to run on Windows. Uh, so there is no cost associated for this add-on and we can manage anything with the Windows operating system on it. So in this particular instance I actually have an HP server and a Dell server and on the right hand side of the screen you can see uh, here I am monitoring uh, free disk space available and also processor utilization uh, in the environment. And by right clicking here I can say view chart or I can export the data if I want to and that takes me to a little Java based application that allows me to go uh, and see the details associated with that uh, and by highlighting uh, this has all four of the components selected if I just wanted to say look at processor utilization